Elon Musk says Tesla production lines are already over 75% automated. What does this mean? Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Tinsai Aregai, one of Torque News Tesla reporters, has a very interesting story discussing Elon Musk's yesterday uh, tweet, uh, resp reply to a tweet saying Tesla's production lines already over 75% automated. Tinsai says Elon Musk, after years of production difficulties, says with the exception of wiring harness and general assembly, over 75% of the production line is automated. In the Battery Day event, Elon Musk said that all companies will have long-range electric vehicles in the long term. Tesla's advantage will then shift from having the longest-range electric vehicles to manufacturing. And employees at Tesla have been working tirelessly to make this dream come true. Following the Model 3 ramp, and the production woes that ensured, Tesla has been walking back to the company's desire to fully automate its production lines, even blaming over automation for the production difficulties. Sandy Monroe, in a presentation he gave to Bernstein Research, spoke about how addressing the over automation has significantly improved their manufacturing. Number one, they ripped out a lot of robots. I think that Elon thought that somehow robots could take over everything, but in actually that's been proven wrong in many, many cases, Monroe said. Musk also agreed that even though robots are helpful, excessive automation at Tesla was a mistake. He continued to add, humans are underrated. That's a good news because many people, including me, are concerned that robots will take over, robots are taking over jobs, and now we see that humans are underrated and we shouldn't go so much for comfort, but it's also a problematic. This is why in Giga Berlin, Tesla is getting rid of uh, hundreds of robots, replacing them with giant Giga presses, casting, uh, die casting machines. No, nevertheless, after years of production difficulties, Elon Musk says Tesla's production systems are for the most part, already over 75% automated. This inches the company closer to Musk's alien dreadnought dream factory, where all of its parts are automated. Elon Musk says, currently, the only two areas of the production line which are predominantly manual are wire harnesses and general assembly. Here is what he said. He said, sheer magnitude of the entire production system is hard to appreciate. Almost every element of production is about 75% automated. Only wire harness and general assembly, which are about 10%, less than 10% of production costs, are primarily manual. He tweeted this yesterday on October 22nd, about 5 p.m. Sandy Monroe in the same presentation said Tesla is 10 years ahead of competition, uh, competi competitors, in, competitors in manufacturing. However, he wasn't always as impressed with Tesla as he is now. Back in 2018, as he was doing a full teardown of an early build Model 3, he had a number of criticisms for Tesla's manufacturing design. At that time, Sandy's criticism ranged from the addition of redundant components to the body, uneven panel gaps, the multiple types of welding the company used, and just the overall design of the car being complicated for no good reason. However, as he continued his teardown and made his way to the battery and electronics, he was pleasantly surprised. He even went as far as saying the electronics control in the Model 3 is better than the ones you get in advanced fighter jet planes and that the battery technology is years ahead of the competitors. Currently, Sandy Monroe says he has finished a teardown of the new Tesla Model Y and he says 
Tesla has improved since his early criticism back in 2018. On top of the battery and electrical systems, Sandy says he was also impressed with the massive two-piece casting for the rear of the vehicle and the new heat pump along with the octavel design. Tesla, in the new Model Y is currently coming off the line in Fremont, California, has gone beyond the two-piece rear casting that impressed Sandy and has made it to a single piece. This improves manufacturing complexity and rigidness of the car, eliminating lots of robots and unnecessary welds. This is an industry first for Tesla, and in order to achieve it, Tesla had to develop a new type of aluminum alloy that didn't need heat treatment after casting. Speaking at the Battery Day event, Elon Musk compared large aluminum casting with potato chips, saying once they are formed, you can't apply heat to them without damage. Beyond the single-piece rear casting, Tesla plans to use the new aluminum alloy to make the front of the car as a single piece too. In the Model Y to be produced in Giga Berlin next year, Tesla plans to further integrate the front and rear cast materials with a structural battery pack. Now, according to Elon Musk, this is a very important breakthrough and by itself should allow a 14-piece range increase in the vehicles. No wonder they are, like I said above, re um, replacing hundreds of robotic arms from KUKA robots to set eight strong Giga presses at Giga Berlin with, to produce the Model Y in using a new, totally new technology. And like I said, According to Musk, this is a very important breakthrough and by itself should allow a 14% range increase in the vehicles. Why? Because if you have fewer parts, you will have fewer le uh, the less weight and you will have other advantages and your range will go up and you will have a better technology with newer battery and better battery technologies and so on. So let me know, friends, what you think. You are excited? Are you excited for all these improvements coming to the uh, next Tesla cars? Do you think Tesla once again embracing automation is a good idea or not a good idea? Let us know in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts uh, uh, below in the comment section. And in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. We're hiring Tesla reporters. If you would like to work for Torque News and write Tesla stories, please contact me using our contact information either through our YouTube channels about page or through our TorqueNews.com contact information. And um, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. In the meantime, have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and see you soon. Have a great uh, peace be with all of you.